In a dramatic legal twist, Fuji's rapper Praz Michel has filed a lawsuit against his longtime bandmate Lauren Hill, accusing her of fraud over the group's ill-fated 2023 reunion tour. The lawsuit, filed in federal court on Tuesday, claims Hill exploited Praz's legal troubles to force him into an unfair contract, ultimately defrauding him of significant financial earnings. The suit marks a new chapter in the tangled legacy of the iconic 1990s hip-hop group, known for their platinum-selling hits Ready or Not, Killing Me Softly with his song, and Fugi La. Praz, a founding member of the Fugees alongside Hill and Wyclef Jean, alleges that Hill took advantage of the timing, swooping in after his conviction in a federal criminal conspiracy case. Facing potential prison time and mounting legal bills, Praz claims he was left with no choice but to agree to what he calls onerous terms. According to the lawsuit, Hill controlled the finances of the tour, hiding crucial financial information from him and taking a disproportionately large share of the earnings. The lawsuit paints a picture of betrayal, claiming that Hill's actions went far beyond contractual disputes, amounting to what Praz's legal team calls a financial ruse that left him with only a fraction of what he was owed. The tour was marketed as a reunion of the Fugees and a celebration of Hill's groundbreaking 1998 solo album, The Miseducation of Lauren Hill. However, Praz argues that Hill downplayed the Fugees' role in the tour, relegating the group to secondary status. He claims that the real draw for fans was the reunion of the legendary trio, not just Hill's solo work, and the lawsuit calls her decision to put her name front and center the first bitter pill Michelle had to swallow. In a statement to Playful Parade, Hill fired back, calling Praz's lawsuit baseless and filled with false claims and unwarranted attacks. She argued that Praz was overpaid for the last Fuji's tour and had failed to repay substantial loans she extended to him as an act of goodwill, totaling $3 million. Hill insisted that the 2023 tour was primarily a celebration of her solo album and that the Fugees were added only because she discovered Praz was in financial and legal trouble. I absorbed most of the expenses myself, produced the show, and put together the entire set. Praz basically just had to show up and perform, Hill said, underscoring her view that she carried the bulk of the responsibility for the tour's production. Praz's legal troubles have been well documented. In April 2022, he was found guilty of 10 counts related to multi-million dollar political conspiracies that spanned two U.S. presidencies. His conviction included charges of acting as an unregistered agent for a foreign government, specifically funneling money from a Malaysian financier to support Barack Obama's 2012 re-election campaign. Praz was also accused of attempting to obstruct a U.S. Justice Department investigation and influencing an extradition case on behalf of China during Donald Trump's presidency. His trial even featured testimony from high-profile figures like actor Leonardo DiCaprio, drawing widespread media attention. Now facing up to 20 years in prison, Praz is currently free while awaiting sentencing, which has yet to be scheduled. According to Praz's lawsuit, his conviction left him in dire financial straits. With his original attorney, David Kenner, pleading guilty to leaking grand jury information and leaving Praz without legal representation, he found himself needing to pay for new attorneys. Desperate for an advance on tour money, Praz claims he accepted terms he had previously rejected for a proposed 2021 reunion tour. His lawsuit alleges that Hill took advantage of his vulnerable position by misrepresenting the financial terms of the tour and unilaterally taking 60% of the profits, leaving him with just 20% far less than the group's customary one-third split. The lawsuit also contains explosive allegations about Hill's behavior during the tour. It claims she frequently showed up late for performances, spoiling the experience for fans and further damaging the tour's success. Praz also claims that Hill rejected a lucrative $5 million offer for the Fugees to perform at the Coachella Festival simply because no doubt was set to receive higher billing. The lawsuit, filed by Praz attorney Robert S. Maloney, asks the court to void the tour contract and demands an accounting of the tour's finances. It seeks both actual and punitive damages, the amount of which will be determined at trial. For Praz, this lawsuit represents more than just a business dispute. It's a tale of betrayal that stretches back decades. The Fugees, once hailed as one of the most progressive hip-hop groups of their time, rose to stardom in the 1990s with their socially conscious lyrics and genre-defying sound. The group's chemistry, especially between Hill and Wyclef Jean, was the driving force behind their success. However, tensions between the group members have long been rumored, and their various attempts to reunite have often been marred by infighting. Praz's lawsuit isn't the first public dispute among the Fugees. In the past, 
Wycliffe and Hill's relationship has been the subject of media speculation, and their professional differences have often spilled over into the public eye. Yet, despite their personal and professional challenges, the Fugees remain an influential force in hip-hop, with many fans holding out hope for a proper reunion. The lawsuit brings to light just how complicated that reunion might be. For Praz, the tour was supposed to be a chance to reconnect with fans and celebrate the legacy of the Fugees. Instead, it's ended in litigation, with Praz alleging that Hill's actions have left him financially drained and betrayed. Hill, on the other hand, paints a very different picture, arguing that she stepped in to help Praz when he needed it most and that his lawsuit is nothing more than a desperate attempt to deflect blame from his own financial mismanagement. As the case moves forward, it will no doubt capture the attention of both the music industry and the group's legions of fans. For a band whose influence has spanned generations, this latest legal battle adds yet another layer of complexity to their already storied history. Whether the lawsuit will result in a resolution or further deepen the divide between Praz and Hill remains to be seen. What's clear, however, is that the legal battle could have long-lasting implications for any future Fuji's reunions and the group's legacy as pioneers of progressive hip-hop. Become a part of the playful parade community. Smash that like button, drop a comment, share with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe. Road to 10,000 subscribers. Oh,